Hi, this is the Bible Ranger here. We're going to talk about health and wellness, part four, episode 13. The title is going to be, Do This to Restore Your Health. And I just want to let you know I'm not a doctor. I'm just giving you my research and from other doctors that are not part of the mainstream type teachings. Also, to realize we're going to talk about supplements and you got to give them time to have results. And you should have already clean, cleansed your system already. Okay, so if you haven't, Go back to the previous ones, okay? All right. The purpose of vitamins and minerals. Now, this is just a series of, of a few of them here. Let me get the color here. And this is not all of them. It's not extensive, all right? But vitamin B1 is good for energy, digestion, nerve function. Now, if you're lacking it, you're going to have exhaustion and poor appetite. Now, some of these cross-reference each other. And help each other out it's not like one thing does one particular thing the body is very complex vitamin b2 energy growth and cell function that's what it's supposed to do when you have it now if you're lacking it you have cracked lips you have you know hair loss and anemia vitamin d b9 you notice we skip six now i'm just going off this chart here but of course b6 has has his own little things going on like if you have vitamin b6 it's good for, for brain development and it's good for your nervous system. So it's not even here, but it's important. Now B9, you it reduces birth defects and cell renewal. Now if you're lacking it, you have fatigue, anemia, headaches, and birth defects. Now vitamin B12, that's really important there. Um, it's good for nerve development, um, red blood cell production. Now, if you're lacking it, you feel more tired, you you have weakness you have constipation loss of appetite that's why you see some of these people they go to the doctor and they get vitamin b12 shots and it really helps them out quite a bit now iron um it's good for red blood cells um formation oxygen transport and if you're lacking it of course you have the anemia the low energy and the poor health now the purpose of the other ones vitamin a is for vision most people know this skin reproduction and if you're lacking it you suffer with night blindness you can't really see in a dark too well and it's probably a vitamin a now do realize when you buy these in stores they're i call them industrial grade they're not that expensive because they're kind of cheap and your body doesn't assimilate it because it usually a lot of them are chemicals or or they're just not made for the best quality to be absorbed so you're paying for what you get now, E, vitamin E, is cell, cell protection and toxin destruction. Now, if you're lacking it, you have muscle weakness and weak immune system. Vitamin C, very important. I mean, so important that there's things that they don't want us to mention out there. I'll see if I can do this uh, in an episode where they even have IV intravenous vitamin C, which I've never done. It sounds incredible. I'll have to do it one day. But of course, with all these, Consult your doctor that they want us to say that. And of course, vitamin C is good for healing of wounds and for healthy immune system. Now, if you're lacking it, you're going to get scurvy, which is kind of like bleeding of the gums. Now, you can have bleeding of the gums because you just have your gums aren't that healthy, okay? Or bruising or fatigue. Now, in the old days, when, when Britain was in power and their navy was the most powerful, they found us this uh, this was actually a secret they found out if they take some limes on their voyage their their sailors wouldn't suffer from scurvy and it, and it was it was that important it was an advantage over the other people so it actually was a secret incredible huh now calcium is good for bone and teeth health muscle con um contractor and if you don't have that one you have weak bones and loss of bone mass leading to osteoporosis or something similar to that. Now, vitamin D, it's only a couple more. And vitamin D um, is obviously good for bones and calcium absorption. Now, you can get vitamin D from, you know, uh, the process of it from even eggshells. Okay, we'll talk about that in the process, but that's not the best way to assimilate into the blood system, into your body. If you're lacking it, you have soft and weak bones and bone pain muscle and weakness muscle weakness anyway vitamin k i think this is the last one here it's good for blood clotting 
and bone health. And if you don't have it, you bruise easier, you have bleeding problems, um, and you decrease in bone strength. I think this is what hemophiliacs suffer from. That's part of it anyway. Don't quote me on that. It's been a long time. Now, the purpose of this slide here is so you can see my slide is smaller than yours. When you, You're going to see a full slide. But somewhere in the middle here, it tells you the sources of the food you actually eat. You want to try to get these minerals and vitamins as close as possible to the actual food source. Because the the while you might find an iron ore in the ground, you can't chop it up and make it into powder and take it. It doesn't assimilate very well in your body, okay? But plants, God is so awesome that he made these plants where they can assimilate it into themselves and now it's made for a way for us to actually assimilate the, um, the vitamins and minerals. So try to get your vitamins and minerals from food sources. Now there is a problem with that. If you notice this picture here, I'll show, that, I'll show you the picture in a second. Our foods are deficient in vitamins and minerals. You notice that this person here is low on battery, right? Because he's not eating the proper fruits and vegetables. However, this battery should also be pointing to the fruits and vegetables because we overproduce. Because of planting, you want more money. You have to produce more crop per square foot. So they're, they're compacted and, and it and it pulls almost a, a 90 minerals and, and, and vitamins from the ground, but we put in like three. I think nitrate is one of them and two other ones to make them look pretty, but yet they don't have their great substance that they're supposed to have. In the old days in the, in the river, the Nile River, they worked around it. I mean, the river, you know, came up, flooded, flooded the plains and came back down. And in the flood, it added minerals and and minerals and vitamins to, to the ground. Well, we don't have that problem. We don't want floods here. So our ground suffer and so do our vegetables and fruits. Now, did you know that when you have a fruit, you might have a feel out there. Let's say corn. Let's just make corn as an example. And you might have a, a, a thousand foot one way, thousand feet one way, thousand you know, feet the other way. And you might have different corns in there that are different mineral base and vitamin base because you have like veins in the underground like something like this is not the best picture but this is like a vein of, of a type of mineral and it might be more prominent on one side of the field than the other and that particular section is going to have more of those vitamins and minerals so like i said the ground doesn't have an equal distribution of nutrients and because they run in veins all right now, so we need supplements because the ground is just not producing what it's supposed to be producing. There's an acronym out there called ORAC, and it stands for Oxygen Radical Absorbance uh, Capacity, all right? And basically, this product here, which I am not sponsored from, I used to be, it's a multi-level company, it used to be in a years ago, they just didn't pay as much, so it just wasn't worth our time. But there's people that sell it on the internet, and that's where I get it. I get it usually for about 55 bucks, hopefully less sometimes, but... It's well worth it. Um, the amount they want you to take, really, I don't like it that strong. So because I'm frugal already, if you don't know about how frugal I am, check out all the money videos that we have here. And it'll, you know, talk to you about money. Anyway, so I take less, but I take them more throughout the day. Instead of taking one glass with those double scoops they have, I'll take four or five of them throughout the day. Anyway, it has an org value of 8,000, which is an improvement from their previous product, which is 5,700 um, auric. And auric, what it is, is this. It's a capacity to fight free radical damage, which is the stabilizing of the cell membrane. Okay, the membrane itself, the cell, the wall is very important. It protects it, like our skin protects us. And the cell, when it's healthy, it tries to stay healthy. But when it has free radical, it creates free radical damage, and the, the cell is not efficient like it used to and it becomes abnormal and i think some of them might become cancerous um but don't let that be scary to you i mean we have cancer cells in our body every day and it gets fought from a healthy body every day now the best way to explain this because i can go into the you know the um chemistry into it about let's one oxygen level the one atom free radical takes another 
oxygen atom and from the other one. It's just too complicated. So the easiest way to explain it is this. You have an apple and you cut the apple in half and it looks kind of whitish, healthy looking. Within minutes, the apple turns kind of brownish. And that's the rust of the apple. Like if you have bare iron and you expose it to water, the next day is going to have a little bit of oxidation in there, rust. Um, and so, so that what happens to your body if you don't take care of it? This is a crude explanation, but it, it's better than explaining to you the chemistry of it. And that's what I said already. The cell fights to stay whole, but the oxidation damages. All right, auric chart. This is pretty cool. Hopefully you can see it well, but these are mostly herbs and spices. And when, if you take these, they have a higher auric value. For example, um, if you have, let's see, curry powder right here somewhere, which is good for cooking, right? It has a 45,000 auric value. Incredible. And you have something here, cumin seed has, it's hard to see where exactly it lines up, but I think that's the 76,000 one. And then you have turmeric, which I grow it, you need to grow it. I think that one is, it's hard to line them up. I think that's 102,000. But anyway, you have here cloves, that's 314,000 value. That's incredible. Okay, however, some of these, some of these go better together. And I'm going to try to have a video how you can make your essential oils out of it. You can take it daily. All right. And which is the ones that I'm trying to point it to you? It'll, we'll know, we know that cloves goes good with cinnamon, which is really high. But not as high as cloves and coca powder, which is here. Okay, that's the that's the unsweetened one, not the milk chocolate. Okay, but the bitter one. But anyway, we'll come up with that in the future. Now this is Doctor X. He's he's on the internet, and there's other doctors that are good. He was kind of a shorter video, but I've heard him before. So this is his recommendation how to boost the immune system. Well, let's do it. Let's boost it up. All right, so it's not what you eat, it's what you digest. Because you've always heard you are what you eat, which is kind of true. But if you have a bad digestive system, it's not digesting what it's supposed to on top of having fruits and vegetables that don't have all the nutrients. You can see where that could be a problem. All right, most vitamin Cs are chemically made, okay? You get a vitamin C as close as possible to a food source. Okay, and one time I'm trying to remember what it was called. Um, I think in Spanish it's called acerera, but but it's um it's a it's a fruit that they they dry up and um and it kind of turns into a small little dried up cherry, but it's kind of yellowish. I think that was the highest source of vitamin C. And I'll try to find that in the near future for you. All right, now the way to best get vitamin C into the veggies would be broccoli bok choy which is kind of a chinese cabbage it's kind of not round it looks like celery celery almost uh brussels sprouts cabbage and bell peppers now on the fruit side lemons and limes and grapefruit oranges papayas kiwi and by the way i didn't know this but you're supposed to eat the kiwi whole i've always i've always you know carved the skin off but that's part of the digestive pro um, properties of that too you're supposed to eat it whole i'll, I'll start eating it whole myself and strawberries. Now zinc, very important. Remember this, all right? And listen to what I'm gonna say, it's very important. The daily dose recommended by Dr. X is 15 to 16 milligrams daily. And you can get it from liver, and you can get it from pumpkin seeds. And, but if you're sick, especially with this thing here, this, I gotta watch the way I say this, okay? If you know somebody that has this, this COVID-19, um, I would definitely up my dosage to 75 to 100 milligrams. Now, if you were to take that for two years, that's not healthy to your organs, okay? This is for a short period of time. It makes you, it makes your cells very powerful. It makes, it, it doesn't allow viruses to, to reproduce. It's incredible. And you add vitamin D3 to it, make sure you get your sun, because you got to get your sun, and you become pretty powerful as a as a as to fighting me as a fighting immune body elderberry is good for your lungs and your colon 
continuing Dr. Axe's booster. All right. Echinacea is good for respiratory and lungs. Astragalus is very good for the immune system. It works great with echinacea, by the way. And SBOs, soil-based organisms, is a type of probiotic. Um, we talked about ACV last time a little bit. And ACV does have probiotic um, properties with the mother at the bottom of the, um, of the bottle. However, it's not considered a good probiotic because it doesn't, a good probiotic goes through your whole system, your, your stomach. It's got to fight that acid, your small intestines and your large intestines. Um, but this one does, ACV does not go all the way through. That's why it's not really good to use it as a probiotic, even though it helps. And if this thing is resistance to heat, bile, the bile, which can damage some of it, and the stomach acid. I think he sells one called NATO, or he recommends one, but I think he sells it. I haven't bought anything from him. Sunshine, we talked about vitamin D3. You got to get that sun. That sun is, we don't, we need the sun to make vitamin C. If you're really white, obviously don't stay in there too long. It can be a little damaging to your skin, but you should get at least 15 minutes. All right, exercise. This body's made to move, so you got to move. If you're injured, well, I understand injury. I've been injured in a few times, just jogging alone. But anyway, um, if you if you if you can't move around or, or if you can't jog, walk, you can't walk. Try to get a stationary bike, but you got to do something. Gratitude and thankfulness. It just changes your whole attitude when your body is stressed out. And we talked about stress. It brings on your immune system. But when you're thankful, you're like, Lord, thank you for waking me up. How can I help people today? It just, it just, it, it brings right the right um, hormones out and, and, and it lines up your body to, to accept healing way better. All right. This is his booster number two. This is broth. Okay. This is really interesting. Did you know that 30% of protein in your body is collagen? And basically, that's kind of like the glue that holds things together in muscles and in skin and a bunch of other things. But there's three types. There's type one, two, and three. Now, types one and three mainly come from cows, beef. And basically, it's good for your skin, your hair, your nails, your bones, and your discs and your gut lining. So it's not only good for the outside of you, but it's good for the inside. I mean, who doesn't want good skin, hair, and nails, right? Type 2 comes mainly from chicken, okay? And by the way, um, I, I, didn't, I didn't have it here, but but Alex Jones, the um, Infowars.com, they sell a great bone broth. I don't get sponsored by them. I take it myself. I just kind of wait till it goes on sale, but it's really good. And um, it's organic everything. But if you know a better one, you go out there and get it. But this is good for your ligaments, your tendons, your um, connective tissue, okay? Now, I don't remember if I just said it, but collagen is kind of like a glue, okay, in your body. Connective tissues and fascia. Also, um, high hyaluric acid, and it was, which is great for the skin. That was kind of hard to say. And it has, in this broth, it has glucosamine and chondroitin. And by weight, by weight, 90% of weight, it's those two um, items right there, those two nutrients. Now. It takes a while to do this because you have to, you know, um, boil bones and all that. I'm not the cooking person. My wife is. But make enough where you can store it. Freeze it and it's ready to be served whenever you're ready for it. Now, this is another doctor, Dr. Day. And when we talk about cancer, she's going to be a big part of that. Um, but she has 10 steps. And each of these require a lot of explanation. But right now it's just nutrition. By the way, she had cancer. And she had a big tumor about the size of a large orange in the middle of her chest, which I'll show you that next time we talk about cancer. Um, so exercise, very important. Water, I mean, basically enough water to make you pee every half an hour is that much. It's like eight to 10 glasses a, uh, a day. Sunlight, like you see these people here appreciating their sunlight and talking, not wearing a mask. I like that. Temperance and abstinence. That's basically controlling yourself from what you eat. One of the worst things for your body, which I love, 
it's sugar okay like snacks but you know if keep it in moderation and if you exercise and you're doing all the right stuff a little bit is going to be okay but if you're sick you have cancer and you're really sick you got to stop all of it because that really and wait till we talk about cancer and you'll see why they love funguses cancer they love sugar that's their food fresh air being outdoors actually being social not what they call social distancing there's no social distancing when you have masks and you, you stay apart rest sleep trust in god the most important an attitude of gratitude just see how you can help people out there you know and and just you're helping them you helping them out is going to benefit you too but don't do it for selfish reasons we we take care of each other Belevian, belevenance like that well that's that's really helping other people out but having an attitude of gratitude is just being thankful like we said before that always pops up all right the next one is we talked about restore you do this and you restore your health well do this and restore your life okay we know that adam broke relationship with god because when he because they disobeyed god you know adam and eve and because of that you know we get sick and we die okay but christ died for us to restore our eternal lives you know and just in your own words you don't have to be fancy you don't have to have a step one step two step three but basically you let god know that you believe that you know that christ died and resurrected and he died for your sins and lord i'm sorry for my sins lord forgive me it's that simple the harder part is that you live for him i just say the words the words is not a formula to get you in there it's just the beginning all right so if you found this to be valuable you know please subscribe and a thumbs up share it and i appreciate that and this is a bible ranger keeping the bible simple but yet intriguing and beneficial and simple all right bye